You need a name, she told me, holding me close to her nose. I tasted it with my tongue, and she giggled. You're sweet, that's for sure. How about Molly? You look like a Molly to me. Want to explore? Those legs are getting strong. She plopped me down on a new surface, wrinkly and soft. I put my nose down to it eagerly. I could smell soap and soft cotton fuzz and other dogs. I nibbled it. The woman laughed. It's not to eat, silly girl. Here, maybe you need some company. I think I'll call this one Rocky. Another puppy, one of my brothers, landed on the blanket next to me. He was the only one who looked like me, with short hair. He tilted his head to one side, studied me, sneezed, and chewed on my ear. I shook him off and headed off to find out more about this new space. It was shockingly huge. I could take many, many steps at a time. I was astounded at how much room there was in the world. By the time my nose bumped into a new pair of shoes, I was worn out. I barely had energy to get my teeth around a shoelace and tug. The owner of the shoes bent down to pull the shoelace out of my mouth. I growled to show her it was mine. So adorable, the person with the shoelace said. Is she a poodle, Jennifer? Half, said the woman who'd taken me out of the box. Jennifer, I guessed, must be her name. Mom's a standard poodle, definitely, but the dad, who knows? Spaniel, maybe? Terrier? How many did she have? Seven, said Jennifer. She was pregnant when I found her. After the pups are weaned, I'll see about taking her in to get her spayed. Then I'll find her a home. And homes for all these puppies, too? asked the owner of the shoelace. We'll take that one over there, but we can't have more than that. She scooped me up in soft hands and returned me to the box, where I nestled close to my mother and had a little snack. Of course, I understand, Jennifer said. Not to worry. I've been fostering dogs a long time. The right home usually comes along at the right time. She stroked my head as I curled up for a nap right next to my mother where I belonged. After that, Jennifer came to take us out of the box more and more often. I got a chance to explore the living room, pounce on a couch cushion to teach it who was boss, 